probably still have my morning voice because you guys are the first people I've spoken to this morning. So I'm going to have a shower now, but I came across this She Blonde Blonder in shower treatment and I was thinking to myself, I've had this for so long, like I hope it's still good to go, I don't know. But I was meant to get my hair done last weekend and now my appointment was moved for a further two weeks, but the way we are going with this stay at home stuff, I don't know, could be even longer. And I know I am going to go darker, but I can kind of see the greys coming through. And I thought, you know what, now's my chance to use this. My hairdresser's probably going to hate me. I don't think she watches my vlogs. Um, and I hope it's going to turn out okay. But, like, I just wanted to try and I thought, let's try it along with me. So it's this John Frieda brand and all you're supposed to do is wet your hair, pop it in your roots for five minutes, then wash it out and then your roots are meant to go lighter. So in the time where it kind of looks like this, um, I feel like it is well deserved. So I'm going to pop in the shower now and uh, let's try this. because um, my roots still look dark and then when I look everywhere else, pretty dark. So I'm guessing my hair probably had to have been blonde, even the roots had to have been blonde for it to work. But then I look at the rest of it and it doesn't look like it's, doesn't really look like it's refreshed it. The wash, washing my hair refreshed it. So um, I don't know, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I mean, my hair just is probably gonna be happy cause like it didn't ruin my hair in any way. Uh, but uh, it was worth a try at least I got to put a bit of a treatment in my hair I put that banana uh, the banana fructose treatment thing oh it smells so delicious I always want to eat it when I put it in my hair and now my hair feels nice and soft so I love that and then I also just now put in that frizzies the John Frieda frizz thing um, at the end so at least my hair can look good for like a whole day because when it's like regrowth time it looks greasy the next day we have a few errands that we need to do today. I need to go to the post office. I need to drop something off to my nephew. And well, I need to take you before I walk. That's not an errand. And if there's anything else, I will let you know. So let's get going. But hold up. First, some breakfast. My mum made some masnik. And I'm going to have some of that. I just ran up the stairs. Because I wasn't going to have it, but I grabbed some and got some upstairs. So this is what I am taking over to Nathan. Now he likes it. I don't like Christian. They like it with ham. So mum's made a whole box for them that I'm going to drop off. And um, I'm going to eat mine now. down time for our walk <laughs> yeah. all right he gets a treat for being a good boy good boy sweetheart Time for walk is done. Time for lunch. So as you guys could see, I did a pit stop at Hungry Jack's. I have not had Hungry Jack's so, so long and I just wanted some. So I drove a little bit further out, not out of my 10K zone. That's, that's why I didn't. Um, and I forgot my straw in the car, so I'm going to have to have. I got Red Fanta. Tastes so good. I actually got, I got a Whopper with cheese milk. I'm not going to do a mukbang thingy because I'm going to eat in peace. However, I thought I'll show you guys. Looks like this. Now, just double checking. I always get mine with no tomato and no pickles because I don't eat tomatoes or pickles. Um, but I like the one with cheese and I've got sauce on my arm. 
and I ate some chips in the car. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, uh, I uploaded a video this morning, so I'm going to have a look at some comments, if there are any, and I will catch up with you guys after I eat my Hungry Jacks. Time for some washing. now while we're waiting for that time to clean some brushes it's been a while since I've cleaned them and um, let's give them a good wash I usually just use some normal soap water and then leave them down flat to dry Yes, I'm in my singlet because I was hot up and down the stairs back and forth so many times. Put hand cream on so my hands are fresh. I thought it was time for a snack and I really wanted to try this. The new Cadbury Breakaway. It's not new. This was around a very long time ago. Maybe it wasn't that long, but it feels like a very long time ago. And I loved it when it was out the first time around. And then they like discontinued it. And I always found it better than Kit Kats. My personal opinion, I liked it better than Kit Kat because I found that there's more chocolate in it. And they brought it back and I'm really excited, oops, to try it. Slippery hands there. Um, so I thought let's try it together if you guys were interested, if you have never tried it before or Okay, this doesn't work when you put hand cream on your hands. <laughs> I'm not going to use my teeth. Alright, opening now. So, if you haven't seen it before, let me show you. It looks like this. I'm very, very excited to try this. I have been waiting. They, because I follow Cadbury on like Instagram, they... Uh, they said that it was coming back and so I looked for it so many times every time I went to Woolies I looked for it, I looked for it in Coles and I haven't seen it my sister found it in IGA so that was we did an exchange uh, so let's try this that was a big bite mm. yep the ends have more chocolate if, if you want to have a look if you look at it closely there's like a big chocolate seems to taste the same I like it. Me trying to not talk with my mouth full. They did put the breakaway in these like circle individual packet things that you could get in the biscuit section. They must have not done well. That's why I probably brought these back. I did, It tasted different to me. It did not taste the same as the chocolate. I tried that. I didn't like it, so I never bought it again. But I'm excited. We'll see if they keep this one around. I mean, I do prefer marble better, but I was happy to try that. And um, I'll have some more later. <laughs> dry today might dry by tomorrow uh, I don't know if you guys remember seeing this bag probably in one of my videos that I recently did I've had this bag for such a long time and I just haven't used it like I love the fluff of it like I'm such a like a fluffy person bag I don't love the handles um, mainly because like I just don't feel comfortable wearing bags like this anymore I don't know I'm so used to like backpacks but and I feel like it's so long and also unfortunately uh, it's got a bit of like stain stuff from the gold that I painted the the bag rack <laughs> all right so in the video I actually had it folded up here and then I actually had a clip in here and then it looked really cute like that so because I feel like with the clip it, these bits kind of still sort of stick out a bit what I'm gonna do is I have these like the little fastener thing in the jig is and I'm thinking if I do it on each side of this and pop it in there and then it's like a click fasten so if I actually did want to wear it open like you could or 
you could just wear it closed like that and it, I feel like it would look so so much cuter and I also I'll put the little clip in there because I thought it looked like a cute little purse with that in there so let's get to working <music> halfway done so we've got the first little bit and it closes like that and it's just got that little thing and stays there all right let's do the test they're on now see one Too. And there we go. The bag is still actually functional because if you undo the zipper, you can still actually use like that end of it or even all of it. And then fold it over. And let's put the little clippity thing. And there's the little like clip in the center. It's like a little hair clip, but it now looks like a little like purse. Adorable. Cute. I love this now. Okay, so I did a little bit of editing and now it is time to go to the park before it gets dark and young Chipster is waiting over here. Are you waiting to go to the park? Are you a good boy? Show them what a good boy you are. Chippy sit. Chippy sit. Stop embarrassing me. <laughs> Chippy sit. Sid, you know what sit means. Do I need to come closer? Okay. Chippy sit. Sit, mama. Good boy. Good boy. I don't have anything to give you. You can't always get a treat every time you sit. Good boy. You want to go to the park? You want to go to the park? <laughs> Old sneakers for the park. To be waiting. Are you being a good boy? Do you want a treat? We are back from the park and it is now dinner time. Let me show you dinner. It is some salmon, some cabbage salad, and some homemade hot chips, which I have put my um, chicken salt on, of course. So I'm going to have a little bit of dinner. I'm not that hungry. I found my lip balm, this Bird's Bees ones. I don't really love it. I'm not a huge fan of the Bird's Bees ones. Oh my God, I get so distracted. <laughs> I'm like chippy. Uh, I'm going to have my dinner now and then I'm thinking I might do a mask later on so I'll pick up with you guys later on when we do that. So let's um have a little bit of this. Guess who's back? Back again, me. All right. <laughs> if you were a guy, you might have been getting excited there with me taking the jumper off. Um, it is now later on. I thought I'd take my jumper off. I can't speak and take jumper off at the same time, clearly. Okay, it is time to take off the makeup. Are you like me? I have to take off my watch, I have to take off my jumper, I have to take off my earrings. I have to take off everything just so I can then take off my makeup because that is who I am. Look at these cute earrings. These are old ones that I got. The little guest ones that are pink. They're adorable. Oh, I miss shopping overseas. I know my sister's watching this and thinking the same thing. <laughs> Hair is clipped up. Let's take off the makeup. Face halo, micellar water. Lucky I don't have too much eye makeup on today. Cleanse up. I know, got a little bit of this one left. Now it's mask time. We are going to go with this Garnier Hydra Bomb tissue mask. Because this one is hydrating and I feel like my face needs something that's like hydrating because I as I was telling you guys my skin is getting dry so what do I have to do pop it on put it on 15 minutes massage the rest in all right easy well there's a lot of stuff on here you know when you have like a song stuck in your head I'm still listening to that new country love it love Brett Young he's my favorite I know I'm like some of his songs are older now, but I'm into them so much. I love his voice. It's cold. I remembered why I usually only use these in summer because they're just so cold in winter. All right, see you guys in 15. So I changed into my PJs while I was waiting. Does anyone else turn like old tops into pajamas because it's just easier? Like then you're kind of like half dressed at home. My batteries are also going to die. So I will end my vlog here. My face is a little bit sticky and it feels like a little bit red, but you know, this will look good the next day. Usually like it takes like the whole evening I find to like seep through your skin, make it feel better. So 
hopefully tomorrow the skin is going to look better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was like a one day vlog. Let me know if you guys like ones like this because like it was actually quite fun vlogging the whole whole day and making the vlog about one day. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so so much for watching. See you next time.